Oh, my name, my name is Tim Johns, and I'm, uh, I posted on here once before, and, and uh, thank, uh, thank you for all the support that I got from a lot of the uh, users that, that listened to, to what I had to say. Uh, and, and I wanted to kind of come back again and, and kind of dispute some of the things, uh, the, the negative, the, I guess we'll call them the, uh, the, the MAGAs that were attacking me and calling me names and stuff like that. Um, and it just goes to show that this, that's where our country is right now. Our country is, a, is in a world of hurt. You know, the economy is not what people think it is. I mean, if you're not, if you own a bunch of stock, you're, you're benefiting. But if you don't own a bunch of stock, you're not benefiting. I mean, it's just common sense. Two, how do you put aside a man that continually lies, continually sit here and, and you listen to him talk uh, on his own free will and he can't. He can't put two sentences together that are proper. Even if they typed it out for him, he still can't do it. And then to the Christians, you know, and, and I, I like to consider myself somewhat of a Christian. I'm not the best one in the world, but when I sit here and I listen to how much they support him, I, really, I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, this man, I guarantee you, couldn't even name the first four books in the in the New Testament if he tried. I, I, I mean, just he he wouldn't even even know the Lord's Prayer for goodness sakes. What's he done for us? Has he done anything for health care? No. He's been in the office three and a half years, nothing for health care. Has he done anything for prescription drugs? Nope. Has he done anything to help uh, the elderly out for, for medications and assistance and everything else? Nope. Um, has he done anything for infrastructure? Nope. What has he done? A massive tax break where the wealthy benefited from it. Not us, not the general public, not the regular John, uh, John Q public. I mean, he's, he's not done anything for us people. And it, for God's sakes, wake up before it's too late. And before you realize it, that there's no comeback from this. You know, other countries, our allies, don't even want anything to do with us anymore. Um, so I just pray that people wake up before it's too late. I really do. I, I hope somebody will, will get to these people that follow him and his base will go down. But just because you have an R at the end of your name doesn't mean you have to sit here and be so staunch and so far right. He, he likes to call the Democrats, uh, you know, the extreme far left. Every Democrat is an extreme far left. And that, obviously that doesn't make any sense. That's not, that's just not true. I mean, that's, so I can sit here and say that every Republican is extreme far right. And we all know that that's not true. I, I was a Reagan Republican all the way up until he got voted in. And I wasn't extreme. I wasn't so... Uh, bent out of it that I would vote Republican every single time if I thought the person stuck like Donald Trump, I wasn't going to vote for him. So I'm praying that people will wake up. Uh, that, that's 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 the second part of my story, uh, and I hope people listen. Thank you so much, and uh, God God help us.